something rather fabulous has happened to the Duchess of Cambridge. Gone is the strained expression, the spaniel hair, the two short skirts and the frumpy country sloan look. Instead we see a woman in her prime, stylish, confident and positively radiant, nailing outfit after outfit in the style stakes and it's a joy to witness. So where does this new Kate come from? My guess is she was probably there all along, just not quite fully formed. It's certainly the case that she is at that age 37 where most women have worked out what suits them and developed their own style. They have the courage of their convictions, confidence in their abilities and the guts to call their own shots. There is also experience. And with three gorgeous children, an adoring husband and a face and figure to die for, the strong, sassy Kate we see before us has far more resonance than the weighty Katie, hanging on his every word ingenue she used to be. Of course, Meghan coming on the scene has changed a lot. Many royal watchers thought the Duchess of Sussex might destabilize Kate. And it's true, contrasted with Meghan's star quality, Kate's wholesome image might have made her seem drab by comparison. But it's had the opposite effect. It's only highlighted how grounded Kate is in her status as one of the few grown-ups of the younger royals. There is a big difference between royalty and celebrity, and Kate understands which side of the fence she sits on. You won't see her hobnobbing with the likes of George Clooney, or partying with Hollywood stylists in the way that Meghan does. The result? Kate feels real, whereas Meghan feels contrived. Like Princess Diana before her, who was always being photographed leaving parties, Meghan seems inalienably drawn to the bright lights, obsessed with self-image and controlling her exposure. Kate, by contrast, comes across as unpretentious, maintaining a much more discreet profile. If she does let her hair down which I'm sure she must she does so in private, with close friends rather than famous faces. And it has not gone unnoticed. Not just by us, the public, but by the royal family itself. Compared to Meghan, who seems determined to recast the royal family as a platform for her own global domination, Kate is the perfect royal. Perhaps that is also why her style has become more elegant and confident, she feels it too. That old uniform of girlish dresses, tan tights and nude heels has been replaced by dazzling super chic outfits to satisfy even the most exacting fashionista and yet, in true Kate style she has done it without looking too try-hard or fashion-obsessed. There are few things more attractive than a confident, strong woman, and that is now the Kate we see before us.